Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to show you how to clear the check engine light on this 2002 Ford Windstar. To begin off with, we're going to have to locate the OBD2 port on this vehicle, and it's going to be normally on the driver's side, footwell area, and you can see on ours, it's going to be right in front of us, which is the black connector, right over here. And we're going to grab our OBD2 connector. And we're going to plug this in. It can only go in one way. So you can't get it wrong. And immediately we'll have power on our OBD2 scanner. And as you can tell, our check engine light on the vehicle is on. So I'm going to show you how to delete this check engine light or erase it. So in order to scan the vehicle, we want to go ahead and turn our ignition on. With our ignition on the vehicle, we can go ahead and hit enter. And by the way guys, I'll have a link to a scanner like this. This is pretty inexpensive. So it has one diagnostic trouble code or DTC. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it says one fault code and zero pending. And the fault code is going to be a P0457. And to go ahead and erase this, I'm going to go ahead and go to erase. And hit erase again. Perfect. And I'll try to go ahead and leave a link below what, on what the actual problem was as well in case you had this similar uh, code come up on your vehicle. As you can see the code was caused by a gas cap that looks like it's on but it's actually not, it's not really snapping in place. And it's on and off so at 270,000 miles this gas cap right here has to be replaced. As you can see our check engine light on the vehicle is turned off. And if this video helped you guys out, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any comments or questions or uh, any kind of experiences that you guys had with your vehicle check engine light not turning off, leave them below. And thanks for watching. And please share this video with any friends and family that have a similar experience going on on their vehicles with the check engine light. And uh, as, a, as always, please make sure you write down the check engine light before you erase it. And that way you can actually uh, go through and uh, figure out what the actual cause is. And I'll have a link to a video below on how to figure out what could be potentially causing your vehicle's uh, check engine light to turn on. Let me know if you guys have any comments. Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.